So, dear students, today we are going to start another experiment, that is second experiment, which is the open circuit and short circuit test of a single phase transform. First of all, we will talk about the open circuit test. Okay. Now, as the name suggests, what do you mean by open circuit? Here, when I say this open circuit test, it means that the output, that is the secondary winding, is kept open. Okay. And when I say short circuit, it means that is output, that is the secondary winding, is being short circuited. So let us first focus on the open circuit test. So you can see up to this, this is the schematic diagram of the open circuit test on a transformer. So again, what we have in this circuit diagram, we have an auto transformer which is operating, which can provide 220 volt AC supply, variable AC supply. Then one of its end is being connected to an emitter. This is an AC emitter that is moving iron type emitter, which is of the range 0 to 2 ampere. Why this 0 to 2 ampere? I will tell you later on. Then we have a watt meter. Okay, this watt meter is measurement for the input power which is being fed to the transformer. Okay, now this watt meter has four terminals M, L, this is the current coil connection, C, and a voltage point that is maybe 300 volt or 150 volt, whatever. Here we are choosing 300 volt because the our voltage is 220 volt maximum, so the next maximum range is 300 volt. So how connections are being made? M and C are being short circuited. Okay, L is connected to the transformer uh, primary one end, and this uh, on, uh, this 300 volt is again connected to the auto transformer uh, neutral end. So after making this connection, this is the primary winding. This is the primary winding of the transformer. You can see. Okay, and we are measuring this volt, uh, the voltage across the primary winding through a voltmeter, which is again of range of 0 to 250 volt because maximum voltage we are applying 220 volt. This is the core, okay, and this is the secondary winding. Now, as the name test suggests, open circuit, so it is kept open circuited. You can see, so it is again a single phase transformer operating 1 kV, operating 1 kV, uh, and uh, the the important point is that this open circuit test is always performed at on the on the low voltage side on LV side. No doubt, here we have a transformer of turn ratio one ratio one of turn ratio one ratio one. That is the number of turns on primary and number of turns on the secondary are same. But in general, when you go to the practical field, you will find uh, primary side is low voltage side, secondary side is high voltage side or vice versa. That is primary is high voltage and the secondary is low voltage. So in that case, the open circuit test is always performed on the low voltage side. Why? Why? That is performed on the low voltage side means the AC supply source is always connected on the low voltage winding side because, because if we perform the low voltage side, we will have an opportunity to make available to have the easy availability of the voltmeter of the laboratory range that is 0 to 300 volt or 0 to 500 volt. But if we perform the high voltage side, then such type of bigger instrument to measure such type of bigger quantities like 11 kilo volt or 33 kilo volt, which are not available in our uh, laboratories. Therefore, we always go for to perform this open circuit test on low voltage side. So the low voltage side is being uh, uh, fed through a primary source, through auto transformer and the high voltage side or the secondary side is kept open. Okay, now what we do, we will take some reading, we will take the rated voltage reading with the help of this voltmeter. How much current flows when a rated voltage is applied to the primary winding that we will know to emitter and this voltmeter will give you the power reading. Okay, so what we will have? We have three type of reading, voltage, I0 and W. Now what is V? V is the rated voltage, I0 is the no load current. Now why this? As I have already told you in theoretical class, that this I0 is the no load current. No load means there is no load on the secondary winding. Therefore it is represented by I0 and W is the W is the power consumed in the primary winding. Now, we will find out the different parameters. The important aspect of this open circuit test is to find out certain parameters. What are the parameters? First of all, we will find out the 
no load power factor how to find out no load power factor we know w naught that is w naught is the power which we have measured through watt meter and this is equal to voltage that is rated voltage we already know it i naught which we have measured through this a meter and or phi naught we have to calculate it so you can see the mathematics manipulation or rearrangement we have done it and ultimately we have find out the power factor phi naught so power factor comes out to be this cos inverse of w naught upon v upon rated voltage v multiplied by no load current so once we have find out the power factor angle now with the help of this you can find out the different component what are different component the no load current in theoretical class i have already told you consists of two component the core loss component and the magnetizing component so you can calculate the core loss component also hi core loss component ie is nothing but i not cos phi not phi not we have already calculated to this formula similarly the magnetizing current im this is equal to nothing but i not sin phi not so by measuring these three values voltage current and power we have find out the not only low load current that is exciting current but we have also found out the two components ie and im i is known as core loss component and i im is known as magnetizing current component now now we find out some equivalent circuit parameters of a uh, of a transformer at no load what are that that are two parameters are there one is r e and another is xm so we will calculate how to calculate r r e now here i have r not so let us make it r e r e is nothing but v divided by i and i is nothing but i not cos phi not or in theoretical class i have already told you this is also equal to v square upon p so by any formula you can calculate r e okay so one important no load equivalent circuit parameter r e has been calculated now we calculate xm now we calculate xm okay that is the magnetizing reactance that is nothing but equal to v by im v is rated voltage and im is the thing i not sin phi zero or we can also calculate with the help of other formula also but we have calculated now re and xe and now you can draw the equivalent circuit how the equivalent circuit will look like okay i am just drawing like this okay the no load equivalent circuit will look like this okay so you can now find you have find out re you have find out xm okay xm you know you can calculate l also because xm is nothing but 2 pi f l f is 50 hertz pi is constant 2 is constant so you can calculate l also which is will be henry similarly what will be the no load impedance you can calculate it is v not that is v rated not v not v upon i not so all the parameters related to the transformer at no load can be calculated with the help of the this uh, open circuit test now we move to the panel of this open circuit test so we are on the panel where we will be conducting the open circuit test for the single phase transformer again this is our single phase transformer you can see these are the two primary terminals the phase and neutral and the secondary is kept open so we are not connecting anything to this it is kept open now we are feeding this transformer again with the help of this auto transformer you can see this auto transformer is being supplied from phase and neutral and these are these two output terminals okay so you can see uh, we have taken this uh, one output terminal and we have fed connected it to the emitter first terminal the output is taken from the emitter in series which is connected and is connected to the m point of the watt meter and in the circuit diagram you might have seen that m and c m and c has been short circuited so you can see here m and c has been short circuited okay okay and then the because our maximum voltage is 220 volt so we are connecting not to 150 volt but again not to 600 volt to get accurate result but we are connecting to 300 volt so this 300 volt point has been taken and is being connected to the voltmeter and similarly here also the one voltmeter point is coming from the transformer primary side and the primary transformer uh, prime second end of the primary is being connected to the transfer to the voltmeter second point in this way the circuit is complete and the primary is being fed 
from the AC supply and the secondary is open. Now let us start the experiment. Start. Now we are starting the experiment. With me is my technical assistant Hukmi Chan. Okay, you can see he is varying the voltage and the problem was. So uh, we are on the panel of this open circuit test for single phase transformer. Uh, I have already told you that this is uh, the single phase transformer of 1 kV rating. Okay, we have a primary winding on this side. Okay, I have already explained you connection. Now we have moved the transformer, the auto transformer ring in such a way that we can obtain a voltage of 220 volt. That is the rated voltage. As I have already told you that on the open circuit side, open, open circuit test, the primary winding is always operated at rated voltage. The rated voltage of this transformer is 220 volt on primary side. So we have moved our trans auto transfer in such a way that we can obtain a 220 volt uh, on the primary side. You can see it on the voltmeter side. Now this is our emitter. Okay. So we have got uh, this much of current. You can see it is approximately equal to. Um, let me check uh, this. 0.65. It is 0.65. Okay, so I am right. This is my observation table. What I will write the voltage on the primary side. Now you can write down it is rated voltage 220 volt and my no load current is 0.65 ampere. Okay, now I have to measure the input power. Okay, that I will measure with the help of the uh, watt meter. So, uh, Hukbi Chan will tell how much is the 11. 11, 11 multiplied by 4. 11 multiplied by 4. 4 is the multiplying factor of this. So we have got 44 watt of input power that is the no load power. Okay. Now this is the uh, the complete reading. We need not have to worry about the secondary winding because secondary winding is open. There is no connection is being connected. No load is being connected to it. So this much of the reading we have to take and the next step is our calculation. Now in the calculation part First of all, what we will do, the no load current is given to us. First of all, we'll calculate the cos phi naught. Okay, cos phi naught will be nothing but how much? It will be P divided by V I naught. P is nothing but 44 and V is rated voltage 220 volt and your this current is 0 0.65. So you can now do the calculation and can calculate what is the no load current. Once we have calculated the no load current, okay, then we will calculate the two component of the no, no load current. That is, first of all, I is nothing but I naught cos phi naught. So, this come out to be 0 0.13 ampere. So, my core loss component will be nothing but 0. Point, sorry, no, uh, this is your uh, cos phi naught. Cos phi naught is 0 0.13. So, uh, what is uh, uh, cos? What is theta? So, here I can easily find out I naught is nothing but my 0 0.65. Cos phi naught I have already calculated 0 0.13. So, you can do the calculation and can find out the. Now, I will find out the magnetizing component which is nothing but sin phi naught. So you can calculate from this the theta, theta naught will be nothing but cos inverse of 0 0.13. So once you calculate theta naught, you can calculate the sin, uh, theta, then you calculate sin for naught, place this value, okay, you can get the value of the magnetizing current. Now next come the equivalent circuit parameters. The equivalent circuit parameters is nothing but what is Re. Re is nothing but V square upon P. V square upon P. V is your 220 square upon power is 44. So you do this calculation, you will be able to calculate Re. Now next is our XM. XM is nothing but V upon I naught sin phi naught zero. That is V upon I M. Okay. So you calculate whatever the value you got, you substitute this value, you will get XM. Once you calculate XM, now you calculate the, the LM, that is the inductance corresponding to this reactance. That is XM is equal to 2 pi F LM. Therefore, LM is equal to nothing but 
xm upon 2 pi f f is your 50 hertz because in india the supply operates at a frequency of 50 hertz so you can calculate these two parameters so we have calculated all the no load parameters of a practical transformer with the help of this circuit thank you